a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being certain. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception room. Understand. Hey, how are you? If you want to pass, you need to comply to a frisk, sir. This will just take a sec, sir. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. And how are you today, sir? and make yourself comfortable. What's up? Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Forty-seven. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Let the pros do their job.
Mr. Lutt. I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. feeling here where are you taking me i'm sure we passed plenty of places where we could talk i hope it's worth it no 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 yes that's it now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. How are you today, sir? Good today, sir. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Right this way, Mr. Kazim. I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. been his royal highness's dream i think for even longer than i have known him. everything here is completely self-sufficient electricity internet even water is cleaned and reused it's the first of its kind on this scale it was important for him to look to the future Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Kassim, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. You can find today, sir. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Yeah. We have Ingram have right talk. where we want him. Excuse me for a second. 47, you room. know what to do. Have a drink, Stephen. Feel it's something to behold. Okay. You, check it out. I don't like this. Gotcha. Now wait, excuse me for a second. 
I'll be right back. Please make yourself at home. Have a drink. <laughs> Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. 